Just a short video on how to manually program a TV1 Corio 2 for 240p output if you don't have a pre-made XML file like the C2400 and the C2 2200 models, which are more popular and that's why they have those. So I'm gonna load Corio, Corio Tools Suite here. Sorry for the glare. Configure my USB to serial programmer cable is set on COM2, so I'm going to do test and then it'll show up right here 2355. And I just read all these from it. Don't know if it's needed, but I like having the data that's actually on the unit in the program. So you hit read. I check those four boxes there if you. Did not see that. This is exciting, I know. I think that's the last one. Nope, one more. All right, hit OK. I'm gonna move this over here for a second because I'm going to pull up those the Word document linked in my tutorial that has all of the manual timings. So back to the Corio 2 program, resolution. Then this tab up here, advanced, create and edit resolution. This is where you're going to manually type in all these numbers here from pixel clock on top, all the way down to vertical polarity negative. As you type these in, some others will change. It's a pain in the ass. So just literally go back and forth, back and forth. Like the notes say, don't worry if your a pixel clock is off ever so slightly. Don't worry if the frame rate rates like 60.001 or 59.999, it's perfectly fine. Uh, ignore all these columns here. I honestly don't even know what they are. I think the top headers cut off on this small, 11 inch monitor, so you're just putting in, uh, this is the horizontal and this is the vertical. You then hit write to unit and it will write all of those to unit. And you can also update table after that to make sure that it took. You can overwrite any of these here. Um, most recently I've been doing like the, what is it? like a 640 by 480 at like 67 or something, which I don't even know what takes 67. So that's why I have been overwriting that one. Um, and that is it. Hope this helped.